Hey, welcome back to Detail It on YouTube. So today I'm going to show you guys kind of some versatility of this CSI uh, Ceramex polish. I love this polish, water-based. The abrasives in it are about a five, if I uh, understood Tom right. About a five on the scale of, you know, how the Meguiar's, they'll put a scale of uh, zero to ten on the cut. So one of the reasons this polish is better than the rest of the crew or the crowd is the abrasives are only a five. It's water-based, water cleanup, super easy to use, super easy to remove, super easy to clean your pads. Everything's just super easy. Uh, what's unique about this one, the ceramic abrasives in this are a five and they don't break down. That's why this polish is mostly what I would call pad specific. So, you know, you, you can use Manzerna 300, you can use uh, the 3M Heavy Cut, you can use Meguiar's 105, you can use, uh, what's it called, Max Cut or Pro Max or Pro Cut, Sonex has one, Cut Max, something like that. They're all good, guys, but they're harder to clean up, they're harder to get off the panel, they have oils in them. Um, it's just harder to get everything out of your pad. This system is so unique and so easy, I don't know why anybody isn't using this more and it is my humble opinion the reason this doesn't get a lot of buzz is because the detailing world doesn't want you to know about this product can you imagine if everybody only bought one polish i mean come on they, they look the name of the game in business is to sell so i'm not going to hate on the companies out there that have 45 products hey if they're selling them they're making money but when uh the bottom dollar for you detailers is basically the only argument that's gonna matter. Switch over to this Ceramics polish. You're gonna buy one product, two or three pads, and you're gonna be done. That's that's it, it's gonna save you time and money. But let's get to it. So, and I'm not real good on a rotary, so I may make an ass out of myself. So right here is 1,000 grit sanding marks. And over here is 2,000 grit. So what I'm going to do on this side right here is I'm going to use a DA and a different pad just to show you guys. And this 1,000 grit, I don't have any 600 grit or I would do the uh, almighty 600 grit removal with one polish. Oof, that's hard to do and it scares me because even though this is a generic white paint, I did pay for it and I only had it painted last year. So I don't really want to run it, but I would be willing to try it anyway. <laughs> if you buy from CSI, as you can see, I didn't let this pad dry out. It's got humidity in there. But uh, they'll even send you a pad protector. Pretty awesome of old Tom and Darren at CSI. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get to it. Too much talking um, makes for a boring video. So I'm going to leave you right here. I'm going to get on my DeWalt rotary that I have not used yet. And uh, hopefully I don't make an ass out of myself. <laughs> Too much moisture in that bag. That was bad. And as you can see, that doesn't stink. I didn't get it clean. Look at all that. I'll show you guys after this video or towards the end why I love this product too, okay? Okay, today it's about 75, maybe 78 in California. So they have the centering rings on these pads. Holy crap. Yeah, that's a bad example, Doug. You're going to want to clean your pads better than that. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and spur it first. All right, that should be good enough. And because I'm lousy at a, at a rotary, uh, yeah, I think I'll start at 1200. Anyway, you only need one polish, guys. Here we go. Oh, can you see my hood? Let's see here. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, move you up a hair. Hang on a second. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. There we go. A little better vision. All right. All right. Did you see the, the sanding marks in there? I'll make sure you see them. Ah, shoot. Almost dropped a, a foul language there. <laughs> anyway. Can you see the sanding marks? So hard to do on white, holy cow. Hope you can see them. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it. Then we'll switch over to a DA. Show you what you can do with 2,000 grit. You could probably do 1,000 grit with a DA. Pad specific. 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 All right. 
Bruno, get in the shade, buddy. All right, guys. So with this product, it's gonna gel into the pad. You just lay it flat. Let it get uh, kind of gelled into the pad. Let's get to work. <laughs> All right, let's check that out. I'll wipe it up. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, looks okay. And what you're going to see here, guys, is I don't even know if there's any uh, sanding marks in there left, but I'm going to go ahead and convert over to the red pad, finish down. Even though I don't know if I cut enough, I'm going to go ahead and switch over right now. This, you only need two pads with this system, and if you're good with the rotary, good for you. <laughs> I'm not, but let's go ahead and do this. Okay. So you're going to start at the same speed you cut with, and then finish down on the lowest setting. Okay, here we go. Yes, I'm laying it on my hood. Go ahead and start casting stones. Doug, you're an idiot. Yeah, maybe. Okay, let me go ahead and get onto the DA machine real quick before I show you the before and after here or the side by side. And mind you, guys, I'm not that good at a rotary, so some of this is going to look terrible, but that's because of uh, the rookie hands. That's me. I really haven't given CSI its uh, fair play of time. I've spent so many hours with other systems. Um, fell in love with this system, and honestly, I use this system most of the time with a DA. <laughs> because most people don't want perfection, they just want to clean up. So you can use this with a DA and like a heavy cutting pad or a medium cutting pad or a heavy polishing pad and do a cleanup, and it works just fine. So. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna switch over. I don't know, I think I'm gonna start with the Euro fiber pad, guys. Why not? Try it on my Griot's G9. Okay. And we're gonna do 2,000 sanding marks over here and see what I can accomplish, okay?
it's not perfect, but couldn't really see why it's horrible in the sun. Can't see anything, anything, anything. I think there's still some marks there, and that's a microfiber, or that's a Euro fiber pad. And this is where you have to figure out what works with your paint and the polish you're using. So I'm going to use a uh, medium. This is like a. Eh, this might be their heavy cutting pad, actually. It's a Lake Country pad. I think that's called their CCS pad. I'm going to hit it real quick with this and see what it does. And I've molded the pads. This is shame on Doug. Gosh darn it. Put them away wet. Anyway, let's see what happens here. taking a lot longer than I anticipated, but it is what it is. Okay, I think right now we're going to just look at this and see what I've done. Then I can eat crow or tell you what I didn't do right or wrong, but I think we're looking pretty good. Okay, all right. I'm just going to bring you guys in. Let's, let's do this and see. All right, so let me shorten up the tripod. Okay, so I'm going to try to do this from above where I did it with the rotary from this angle right here. So I think you're going to start seeing some sanding marks and then I'll remove that. I think you can see them. I can see them big time. You see them? Let's take off the tape. And mind you, I don't think I worked it enough, but you saw what little bit of work I did. So... Watch the line. Here we go. There's still a little bit of sanding marks in there, but out in here, up in here, I didn't work it hard enough, you can see, but down in here, you see how clear that is? Now watch the sanding marks. Close to the tape line, apparently had a little mental block there, and I didn't get up next to the tape, but watch out here. It's totally cleared up. Some light um, sanding marks by the tape, tape line, and then look at the difference. Look at all those sanding marks. All this means to me, guys, a little more time on the rotary machine. So, but that looks fantastic. Let's go over here to the DA. I don't even know how this turned out, but we're going to find out. This was a Eurofiber pad, and then I went over it with the Lake Country Yellow pad, which I think is their heavy cut, it's their foam cutting pad, I believe. So, let's see. You can see the sanding lines here. Can you guys see that? Let's see what that looks like. God, why it is so hard. Sheesh. Let me see what I can see with my eyes. Okay, from here, I can see the sanding lines. Then when you get over into here, it's cleared up. Now, by the tape line again, I didn't work that hard enough. I don't know if I was afraid to peel the tape up or what. But, gosh darn it. See right in here, I hope you're seeing what I'm seeing. This stuff is really good right here. Totally no sanding marks up in here. 
Now back here is what we started with. Look at all those. Anyway, guys, I need a little more work with the uh, rotary and this uh, CSI Ceramics, clearly. I spent way more time learning other polish systems. This is my favorite. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I gotta show you guys this. Why CSI, Doug? You're not even cutting that good with it. You actually have some sanding marks left. Yes, yes, yes. Time on machine, it's all my fault. But here's another great thing. How many of you guys buy a cleaner for your pads? Huh? How many of you guys can't get that crap out of your pads, huh? How many of you guys are so frustrated you soak them and then you screw up the Velcro backing on your pads? How many of you? Just about everybody, right? Here's probably the best thing with ceramics. See the pads? Do you see the pads? Can you see the pads? Tell me you can see the pads. Okay, here we go. Here's all you need to clean up CSI ceramics. Yep, water. Mother Nature has given you all the solvent you need. H2O, guys. Let them soak, water-based. No cleaners, no degreasers, nothing that's going to hurt your uh, Velcro. Just good old clear water. That's all you need here, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. Another tip, when you're doing panel prep with this product, you don't need any of those solvents. Some people tell you how to make homemade uh, panel prep. Optimum sells one, PNS sells one, Adam, so you don't need that. With this, it's either simple green or just pure water. That's all you need, guys, I'm telling you. There isn't anything better that I found. Shame on me for not using this more. Um, but honestly, since I started the channel, this is the truth. I spend more time just experimenting and trying stuff, making quick videos than I do detailing cars anymore. So just having a good time doing it. But I'm going to get on this hard and heavy and eventually bring you guys back when I get really good on the rotary. And I'll finish this truck down, cut, polish, and finish down with one product and a rotary maybe if I can put enough hours in on it. Okay, guys, give Tom or Darren over there at CSI a holler. Try their product. Give it some time. It's different, but it's so easy. Thanks for watching.